Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at how to create your own colour palette in Adobe Illustrator. This one's super quick and easy and it's really fun to do, so let's get started. First, I have a subscription to Envato Elements, so I'm just going to use this as a base illustration just to show you kind of what you can do with different colour palettes. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to download this one yourself and try it out. So I've opened this up in Adobe Illustrator and created some squares to represent the colours that we have in this illustration. So what we want to do is come over here and grab our rectangle tool. And if we draw a shape like this, but hold shift, so it creates a square. And then we'll drag this over here, but hold alt and shift, and it'll duplicate a copy of it and keep it on the same line. So we'll drag it around about here. And then if we go over to our swatches panel here, if you don't see this, we can go windows and go down to swatches, which is here. And then we can go to this button here, open swatch library, and then we can pick kind of one of these. So I'll pick this one, select the first square, and we'll choose a color. We'll go for this one and select the second color. and We'll go for a bright yellow. If we select them both, we'll go to object, blend, and blend options. Specific steps, We'll change it to and three, click OK. And then now we can use the shortcut so we can go object, blend and make, which is Alt, Control and B. So if we click that, you'll see that it blends between these two colors. So now we can select these two colors on the left, which I prepared earlier and go Control, Alt and B. Select these two, Control, Alt, B. These two, Control, Alt, B and these two, Control, Alt, B. You can now select all of them and because they have this line in, we want them all to be separate objects. So we go Object, Expand, click OK, right click and ungroup. And now all of these different squares will be a solid color and you can move them all about. So now we want to color our illustration. We'll select the black, which are the outline parts and we'll go Select, Same, fill color because what that'll do is select everything that's the same as this fill color here which is black and we'll grab our eyedropper tool which is i is the shortcut i might use this color palette at the top that i created so we'll do the outlines in maybe this darker blue select the second color select same fill color maybe try the lighter blue or the purple, and it's just a case of experimenting with, with the colors that you have. We'll go for the middle gray, select, same, fill color, select a different color from your color palette, select, same, fill color, and then again, the last one, select, same, fill color, and then we'll do this one. And you can blend them in with different ones and try maybe doing different backgrounds. And you can try this with all of them so you can work your way along it again. And then we are try and experiment with different kind of colors, creating your own color palettes and have a look into color theory as well. Um, but I think this is like the quickest and easiest kind of way to experiment, create your own color palettes and have that kind of blended turn if that's what you're going for. And it's a fun way to kind of get experimenting with a very basic setup in color. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.